I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is September 23rd, 2015. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use a simple Slack incoming webhook function I made for Linux. I posted this uh, Slack function as a simple gist over on GitHub, and here's the URL for it. I'll also put the URL in the show notes. So now let's just uh, download it. And here's a, a simple download command. I'll just kind of copy and paste this over here. I'll just do a wget on it, and I want to put it in etc. net.d slack functions. And then here I'll just post uh, the URL to get the raw information from the gist. And that should download it. So now let me go open it up here and go over it briefly. Make this a little bigger. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now if you actually try to run this, this is just a function to help you post stuff to a Slack room you already have. So the first thing you do is actually go in here and replace this Slack URL hook with your own. So what I've done here I'll just do this. So uh, locally I, I don't want to expose my information, of course, so I've actually put my URL in a file at this location. And that should grab it. So now that I got my Slack URL, it goes here and just gives me a, a few simple variables. So I can, in Slack, you can. When you're posting attachments, you can post one attachment, which will take up more space, or you can post two attachments. We'll let you, we'll let you go side by side. So I've put some information here. So basically, it allows you to do, well, let me go back. It allows you to do the uh, single uh, title and message, or it allows you to do the uh, two titles and message, which will, which will be side by side. So you'll see that when I post it. Now, then all it does is I have an info, good, warning, and bad, and they take the same number of variables, and it just changes the color. Info is gray, uh, good is green, warning is uh, yellow or orange, and uh, danger is, of course, red. And it will take a... Let's go look at the variables here so you can see it. So it'll take a username that you want to post this information as, an emoji that you want this... Uh, if this, if this username has an emoji, they'll use that emojicon that you have to have in Slack. Uh, the room you actually want to post it to, the title of the first message, the actual first message, and then you have an optional second title and second message you can send. You don't have to send two. You can just send the one. So that's how it kind of works. So you can actually go in here and just, uh, in your own code, all you have to do is call, uh, reference this function, and then call good, and then send it the information, and it'll post it to your Slack room, which I think is a little convenient. Okay, so let me uh, exit out of there. Now I'm going to create a simple service that will utilize those, something that will send a message to Slack when uh, the server is starts up or is shut down. So let me go write that real quick. So D and I'll call it Slack boot shutdown notification. Oh, well, it helps to actually put in a via there. Now, I've already done this before, so I'm going to copy and paste and kind of go over it. There we go. So uh, I'm sourcing my file, my function, the Slack functions, and then I have a username called OpenStack, and I've already uh, put an emoji called OpenStack on my Slack room, so I'm going to use that. It'll use that, and I'm going to post to a room called DevOps. That's one a room that I've made. So if I go over here and look at my Slack channel, there's a channel called DevOps. That this will post to. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to get some simple information. So it's going to say, here's the title of the first thing. Oh, if I do a start, 
here's the title, say server is up, and then I'm grabbing some key information about my server, like, you know, grab the host name, grab its current IP address, how much memory it has, how its, its current uptime. And then in the second piece of information, I want the drive status, how much, uh, what drives do I have and how much information, uh, how much storage is being used. Just whatever information you kind of want, you can put that. That's just some information I threw in. And then actually here, normally I would just do good because I'm not actually testing if anything's bad or any, anything. I'm just saying, I'm just giving information. Uh, or I could actually just do info, I guess, but good. It depends what you want. But just for this test, I'm doing all of them. I'm doing info, good, warning, bad, just so you can see the difference. But it's actually sending, sending the same information. So there's the username, the emoji, the room, the first title, the first message, the second title, the second message. And if I scroll down to stop, it's going to say the server is shutting down. And it has the similar information. It has the IP address, memory, uptime, but it doesn't have the... I guess uptime on a start is kind of dumb, but anyway, I guess, <laughs> anyway. And then just, uh, here it just sends the one message, the username, emoji, room, the first title, and the first message. It doesn't send a second message. And so it's uh, fairly simple. And all we're doing is calling good, calling the good function. And there's our start and stop. Okay, so let me save that. And now I need to make it executable. And then I need to add it as a service. So I can do sudo update rc d uh, slack. Oh. Uh, boot shut down notification up oh. oh, rc.d sorry and I'm on a bud 1404 if that's not already clear okay why are you giving me grief oh I forgot to add a default duh there we go so now it's been added so now let's see if we can get it to work. So let me go over here and shrink this so we can actually see our Slack room, my Slack room over here. And I'll do sudo service Slack boot. And I think it's a little bigger, I guess. sudo service slack boot and we'll do start there we go oh, and there we go so let me make this a little bigger so we can actually see it So I get my little notification down there. So there's the emoji con I'm using. There's the name OpenStack that I gave it. And since I'm giving it two uh, messages and two titles, so there's the first title and there's the second title. Here's the first message and here's the second message. And so you can see how much information I have. So I have 9% uh, left on that hard drive. And we can see my uptime has been one week. And there's my memory and there's my IP address and there's my name. And you can see there's gray for info, green for good, uh, yellow for warning, and red for bad. And so if I go, if I run a stop, I should get my shutdown message. And there you go, server is shutting down. So let me go back there real quick and edit that. I really don't need to have some of this. Okay, so I really don't need uptime, so I'll just comment that out for now, and I'll just make it informational. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just info. So 
So let's make that informational too. Okay, so now it's set. So now if I go and reboot this box, we should see those messages come through. So I'll put a test here and we'll reboot it. So it's rebooting. I should get a shutdown message. Hopefully. And there's my shutdown message. And it won't repost the emoji con unless if it's if it's still in the same continuity, I guess. That's why these are all stacked up together. And as it reboots, I should get the reboot message. And there we go, finally. So there's, there it is starting up and there's my startup message. So it all worked like I wanted it to. So anyway, there's this, there's the Slack function I made. It's a simple script. Go and grab it and modify it, improve upon it, hopefully make it better. But it's out there as a gist for anyone to use. And, and hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I think Slack is a great tool and using incoming webhooks makes it even better. So I hope this was helpful to someone out there. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.